Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Jusson. Or if you're Gavin British you probably pronounce it like just Ant, Ant down the pub like you know, or something like that. Now this one was developed and published by Don't Nod and is usually available for $22.49-$24.99 but is included in Xbox Game Pass so get, get and have it. So we play as, uh, I mean, let's just say his name is Juice Antler, very exotic name, as we traverse through a beautiful and mysterious tower, unfolding magic stuff and getting along with some weird creatures, it is also a beautiful looking game to boot. Now as for achievements, this is very heavy collectible territory that we're going into right now. All in all, through five chapters out of six, we need to find 105 collectibles, which includes letters, Cairns, Cairns, you know, the stone game thing, uh, shells, frescoes, and altars. Yes, there are quite a few. There's also a few easy but miscellaneous ones to grab too. Now, this is my idea of an achievement list, to be honest. No speed run, no, no death run. Just go searching in, in stuff, for stuff. But it's not stressful. Le grande. All in all, you're looking at around potentially three to four hours to get this done. So, with that being said, as always, let's do it. So, here we go, uh, a French nautical term for a receding tide. Well, I wonder what the French no uh, French term is for a receding hairline, because that'd be me. I bet it's like, um, hair gone. Nah, something like that. Anyway, enjoy the couple of minute cutscene. Uh, a lot of, uh, the cutscenes we can't skip through the game, but why would ya? It's a gorgeous looking game, gorgeous. So here we go then, chapter one begins, Denmark. No, Denmark, close enough. Uh, I mean, imagine if Denmark looked like this. Does Denmark look like this? I've never been to Denmark. I would like to go to Denmark. But anyway, enough about Denmark. We'll get some more Denmark later. But it is chapter one, Denmark. So what you're probably thinking is you will automatically start climbing up these rocks. No, what you'd have to do, press the A button to climb up things. And then what you'll need to do then is you need to uh, keep pressing the right trigger, so left trigger or right trigger to hold the grip, and you will automatically put a rope onto one of these uh, rope things right here, 
And then, it, it, so it is literally just a case of right trigger, left trigger, right trigger, left trigger, while going in a certain direction. So I thought it would just be one of those where we climb up um, just by using the A button a couple of times, but no. So prepare to get your wrists a little bit uh, muscular in that phase. <laughs> so it is a lot of right trigger and a lot of left trigger. That is how you climb in this game. And then, of course, climb yourself up. When you get to the top of wherever, you can hold the B button to wind in your rope. That'll come in handy because it doesn't go that far. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, a lot... i say a lot of the early part of this game is quite linear. It's with the collectibles, especially in Chapter 3 and Chapter 4, where it gets a little bit more uh, out of the way. But, um, so, yeah, we can climb up ropes. Again, left trigger, right trigger. There's no way going about it. You need to get some steroids in those, uh, <laughs> in those wrists to help yourself get pumped for this one. And then there we go, we can jump up there. So, hold the B button, uh, always hold the B button when you get to the top of somewhere and you can freely move. And then just climb up this next set of little platforms, whatever. Um, there'll, be lot, there'll be plenty to climb on. So this is basically, uh, you know, Prince of Persia slash Assassin's Creed, except unlike those two, uh, and, and unlike those two games, um, we're actually, we've got some safety measures, so we can't actually fall to our death, which is very good. So, if you head to the left here, what you can do is actually, you can press the right trigger to put the rope down on the ground as well, which some people seem to have missed, and then others, um, it's a couple of things, a couple of things in this game which some people have missed, and I'll let you know when we get there. That's one of them. We can actually put the rope on the ground. So, hold the A button, and then press the, uh, and then release the A button, but remember you've still got to grab onto the rock with the right trigger and left trigger. Um, it may take, generally, it may take a couple of minutes just to get used to the rhythm of the game and everything, but once you do it, you, um, yeah, it'll be absolutely no problem. So, as you can see there, you've got a green, uh, green meter by the right-hand side of you, that is your stamina. So the more you jump, the more that uh, stamina meter goes down. If you want to refill your stamina, just clicking the left stick, and in fact, that's what we're going to do for our first achievement. You can literally just keep on clicking in the left stick. You've got to do that 50 times in order to get the first achievement. Um, if you want the stamina bar to get full as we just continue on our way up, no way that we can get lost at the minute. Um, so what you'll, so basically, your stamina bar will be completely refilled as soon as you get to the top of a mountain or top of an edge somewhere and then uh, get, your, get your rope back in. So again, some of it may sound a bit uh, bit daunting or something, uh, but it's actually not too, it, it, genuinely not so bad. It's just another one of those games, you get used to it, you know exactly what uh, know exactly what you're doing. So this is where I'm actually going to get the first achievement here. So I literally just keep clicking the left stick in 50 times. You will more than likely get this through natural progression, so don't worry about that. Um, also, as for, <laughs> sorry, it's just loads of information now. As for chapter select, there's chapter select after you finish the game, and it'll tell you if you're missing any collectibles or anything like that, it'll tell you right there. So there is chapter select if you manage to miss something or if you don't get an achievement or anything. So we're going to go into this little bit of building here, climb up the steps, and then jump yourself up again. Then we're going to go for a nice little climb up this ladder. So when, when we get to the top then, we're going to be coming up to our first letter. We're going to jump up, and here is the first letter. Press the Y button. Um, I end up just reading it all, just to be on the safe side, but that'll be your first letter, and we'll get our first achievement, or second achievement, sorry, as well. First contact. So there we go. Um, so any collectibles will always be marked, or you can always tell when there's a collectible, because it'll tell you where it, it's got, got a little marker on it. So there we go. Um, as you can see there, the rope can be attached to almost any surface just by pressing the X button. Um, so on any wall, so you don't actually have to look for that sort of rope, um, I don't even know what the hell it is, uh, rope thing. And then of course you can also press the X button again in order to put, um, up to three. So as you can see, the little diamonds on the left hand side, that's basically telling you that you've got three that you can put down in this area. Um... You press the left bumper and right bumper to go up or down. Now, those pittons, are they called pittons? Whatever they are. 
Nope, I just sounded gammon British then. Uh, it's piton. So yeah, piton. So almost peon, but piton. So what you're going to do, eventually, you can... Now, obviously, what you're supposed to do there is obviously just grab the steps with the right trigger and left trigger. We're going to get another achievement here. So we'll press the B button. Now, what we need to do, we'll press the X button to drop down. Uh, head down ever so slightly. Then what we need to do is uh, put another piton at the very top. Sometimes it can be a little bit finicky there, so you need to swing yourself a little bit. And as soon as you get to the top of the cliff, press the X button to get a, a piton up. Again, some, that may take a few minutes and a few attempts. It can be a little bit finicky, but that is how you place a piton at the top of a wall run. Uh, so I just found it easier to do it there, get it out of the way. But there are plenty of opportunities to do it within the game, uh, since we will be, you know, climbing up a lot of walls and stuff. So heading into this little dark little bit right here, we will um, press the Y button. Now, th that's basically just another rope swingy thing that we can connect to later on when we need it. So jump up here to the left, uh, press the Y button to find your first shell. Now these cutscenes take about literally 30 to 40 seconds long. So enjoy the silence. And eventually, after the soothing sea noises, we will be able to quit out of this part. There we go. Bottom right-hand corner, so we can press and hold the B button to quit out. Plus, we will get the an ear to the past. An ear to the pasta. A nose to the pasta achievement, anyway. So now we can continue to climb up the ladder. And once we do get to the top... Ah, hello. we got some stuff to do. Get your rope back. Go to the right. And we can press the Y button to get uh, the next letter. There's a lot of letters that we're going to be collecting. Like I said, there's a lot of everything we need to be collecting. So make sure to grab this letter here. And then we should be good to go. And we can continue on going forward. So the rope again, you can press the X button. Or I kept pressing the right trigger. It seemed to work for me. So we're going to head down. And then what we need to do is swing ourselves over to the left. And remember then to either press the right trigger or left trigger in order to grab the rocks. Again, while you're getting used to these bits, it may take a few attempts, as you'll be able to see me doing <laughs> a few attempts. But, uh, yeah, again, it's one of those. You will get used to it. Again, if it's easier, remember to just place one of your pitons um, close to it, so you don't, ha you know, just make things easier for you. That's what they're there for, and that is why we are super good. Screw Prince of Persia and screw Assassin's Creed. I do like Assassin's Creed and yeah, Prince of Persia. Right, so once we have climbed up to the top, we will wind in our rope. And we are going to go straight forward and head down this ladder. Well, we're not. We're going to press the Y button here in order to get a rope extender. <laughs> Is that a rope extender or are you just happy to see me? So <laughs> back through, go to the left, heading up these uh, little rickety steps here. Now, there is also an achievement for uh, jumping up 200 times. Not jumping normally. Jumping up off a wall 200 times. So, as you're going through the game, just remember to, you know, it does take more stamina jumping. So, just be aware of that. Now, we're going to head down the ladder, by the way. But, if you can remember, just uh, try and jump wherever possible. And we're going to grab another letter here. We're just going to climb through to the left and grab this next letter. But, again, if not, and you don't manage to get that achievement by the end of the game, obviously, we can do chapter select and then we can just do it quickly um, at the end, so there's nothing really missable at all or anything that uh, is too difficult just apart from the collectibles So up we go again for some reason. I had some trouble trying to find the bloody ledge mate And this time once we get a rope in we'll head to the left and continue onwards
So, yes, this is another one that may take a few attempts to get used to. Uh, the double jump. So just obviously hold the A button and then quickly tap the A button again. Sometimes it may take a few attempts and you may... It, for some reason, it, there was a lot of points in this game where it looked like I wasn't going to make a jump and then I ended up... I did end up making it. So, yeah. Uh, remember to click in the left stick if you lose your stamina. If you do lose your stamina, you'll just... Uh, basically swing on the rope, that's all. So you never fall to your death or anything like that, which is nice. We're going to press the X button here, and that's going to let us go wee, sort of. But we're going to climb our way up again. Remember to press the right button there to go up. And then we're just going to go onto this uh, nice little chunky little platform for us. There we go. Wind in your rope again. And we will climb, clamber up the steps. So obviously a lot of the time if I'm not talking it's it's pretty much just a linear path. A lot of these climbing sections are just one sort of linear path. So and unless, you know, I'll obviously tell you if we are going to a different direction, but a lot of the time you're just sort of following along. Um you know, it's a lot easier than me going go left, go right, go up. But up the ladder we go anyway. Uh, let's get our rope back in, spank in your hairy crutch. Drop, uh, drop down slightly and then we're going to go Sort of around, try not to obviously uh, do a Assassin's Creed style leap of faith off. And once we get here, there here is our first cairn. Oh, I kind of sound like a Irish person, right? Cairn. Hey, get your cairn. Cairn. Hey, cairn. The cairn's here. No, get your cairn. Anyway, heading up the steps behind us, and there is another letter for us to interact with. So that's your first cairn and your next letter. Then, after this, then, we are just going to head our way back through to the open... I was going to say open grave and beyond then, but that's... Uh, no, that's weird. I meant the open beyond. So, see a lovely little bridge? Continue wandering straight through the bridge, and then guess what happens? Nothing, because it's a nice, relaxing, peaceful game. Apart from if you get really peed off with uh, some of the climbing aspects. So what we're going to do then is not go up the steps, but we are going to go to the right of it. Now the obvious path would be the up the steps, which it is, but we're going to jump down here first in order to grab another letter. And then we're actually going to go around to the left. And if we keep going, we're going to find our next cairn. Kern! Oh my god, it's Kern! Kern's back from the Kern! So, climb up the ladder anyway. <laughs> Sorry, that's the last time I'll say Kern in that Kern voice. And then at the top of the ladder, if we go to the left of where we were, and then in this little section here, there is the next letter. Right, mate, that's it, that's good. Right, go to the left, and now we're on top of the sort of main steps part, so we'll just continue to follow these steps up. By the way, uh, Juicy Antler right here, or whatever we called him, how he doesn't eat or, you know, drink or anything as he's climbing up all these steps, I'm already knackered, bruv. So, uh, anyway, go through and then continue up the steps again. Now, you see these uh, little rat things? They're called chocobos or chocobos or something. So basically, you need to scare 10 of these back into their hidey hole. You will, again, get that through natural progression, purely through just walking through. Um, I got it, and I didn't even realize. So you don't have to worry about going out of your way for that achievement either. 
Coming across the bridge here is another letter. This is the uh, first one from Bianca. So uh, whoever this Bianca may be, she's writing letters. So there's normal letters and there's Bianca letters. So they all fall under the letter category since they're all letters. So job done, mate. Right, uh, what we're going to do is start climbing up from where we just were. So once we climb across, we're going to hold the X button here to place a piton. And then we are going to swing our way to the, to the other side. So again, just, you know, you'll probably see me not do incredibly with these swings in terms of uh, me being either too long to get across or too short. It's, you know, uh, you, you know you'll get used to it, as I said. <laughs> Obviously, if you do end up failing, you'll just... Uh, fall back a little bit more, so uh, be no problem though, be no problem. So get your rope in and then press the X button in order to get it up into the old rope extender up there. Uh -huh -huh. And then we're just going to swing, yee! George, George, George of the jungle. Uh, we're just going to swing the opposite side of this building here and climb onto these. So again, you'll never catch a ledge, obviously as you're probably aware, you'll never catch a ledge automatically. You'll always have to um, uh, grab it with the right, left trigger or right trigger. So once we're up here, take a right into this little room. And past the steps, and as we can see, we have found yet another letter. Um, so, talking of those Cairns, by the way, luckily it's not like that pissant crappy style ones from Valhalla, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which annoyed the crap out of a lot of us. That game was too annoying. Anyway, uh, climbing up the ladder, this is the first chapter complete. Once you stick your blowhole in that noise hole, in that Tickle Me Elmo hole, then, uh, yeah, we're going to get our little companion friend called the Blue bra. And then, uh, yeah, chapter two beginneth. So we'll be going for another achievement straight away then. There's two actually tied to this one, so we can hug the ballast. Uh, that is our friend, by the way, little water blue blob. So if you press left on the D-pad, you'll be able to give him a hug. There's also an achievement for hugging him 20 times, so just throughout the game, we'll just take a little, you know, 30 second breather to hug our ballast a couple of times, which is always going to be nice, because we're, we're nice, we're cute. And for some reason, he is a water blob, and I like it. I like a water blob. So, once we climb up the plant, it's not a tentacle, so don't even think about it. Uh, climb up the plant, and then we can press the X button to go, wee Ziblan! Now, what the ballast does have, or blue blob, is if you press up on the D-pad, he can actually make plants grow. <laughs> And he can show you where things are, etc. Which is all good, but you're not going to need it that much because I'm going to tell you where everything is. I am the ballast. 
So go next to these plans, press up on the D-pad. And then you will be able to... Now, I've, I've grabbed on first, but it doesn't matter if you uh, echoed it up. You're basically going to either climb up anyway, because we need to go up on top of this ladder. And then when we get on top, uh, we can just go straight ahead, climb up the rope. Again, if you want to just get some of the achievements out the way, like hugging the ballast 20 times, obviously you're more than welcome to just do that now. Uh, the same with the 200 jumps or double jumps. You can obviously just uh, continue on to do that until uh, until you got the achievement and you can crack on, completely up to you. But I found it easier to basically just carry on through the game and you'll pretty much unlock them naturally. So use the Ballast's Echo once again. And then what you're going to do is make a jump to the right. Always place, it's always worth just placing a piton. Because uh, again, if you do fall, then you don't fall all the way down to the first. Piton. Piton. So wind your neck in, or I mean wind your rope in, and then continue down the scary lurking Perth. And this is the first fresco, so you can just go close to it, press up on the D-pad, it'll turn blue. As long as it turns blue like that, you, um, well, the first achievement will unlock, and then that'll get collected. If you want to see the collectibles as well, you can press start, and you can see what collectibles that you've got between the frescoes and all the letters and everything. Uh, so we'll be making a few sort of pit stops, if you wish, just to make sure that you're on the same uh, on the same as me. But again, if you did manage to miss one somehow or anything like that, uh, of course, we got chapter select at the end of the game. So it's all good. Right, so for now, we're just going to continue climbing up and up and aru. Once at the top, go out into the lad. Go to the right. Go to the right of the light, and then we here we find another cairn stone. Again, thankfully, it's not like the crappy one from Valhalla, as I said, which is very nice. Right, go towards the other side. Now, if you press up on the D-pad again, you will get these um, little, I don't know, little bulb plants or whatever that we can climb on. In Chapter 3, as we get towards the sun, they will burn out a lot quicker, but let's not worry about that just yet. So for now, just continue climbing the only path that we can go for the moment, to the right and to the up. <sighs> Remember to press up on the D-pad again to get these little bowel plants going. And finally, we've made it. Together, we made it. Right, so let's go and uh, grab some more stuff. I'm just going to go for a few hugs here at the minute. Uh, yeah, so literally, it it's literally just a case of every now and again, I'll just stop and uh, give my little water tushy. Water tushy? I mean, water buddy a little snooshy snooch. So, once you've hugged your companion enough, go to the left, climb up this wall. And then we'll drop down, go to the right, and here is another shell that we can grab. Right, time to quit out. 
that's the next shell done and that is all that is in here there's actually nothing down there now there is a lot of places that i mean i'm giving them a little hug in the sunshine again but there's nothing to collect now, obviously there's going to be a lot of places that you think there's going to be something to collect and you're going to end up being very disappointed uh, but not really because 105 collectibles in a couple of hours game is more than enough spanky very much so uh head just completely keep on heading straight and then we can press up on the d-pad in order to get this uh, little plant erection only in and go for the climb of life again <laughs> So, going up to the left here, we're going to drop down. Now, what we need to do is you basically have to do some... Uh, by the way, this game, if you're scared of heights, this game, probably not the one for you, particularly. Um, so, we're going to stick a rope into the ground. Now, what we're going to do is basically we're going to go down a little bit. There's basically a platform that we have to get to, and it's quite a while away. So, what we're going to do is get a bit of momentum to go right, to go left. We're going to put the piton in the wall. Bidon. And then do the same thing again. So drop down slightly or close to the edge. Drop another piton into the wall after you get a nice big swingy bit of momentum. Up. There we go. And then if you pop the rope down, now we should be able to, if we just turn the camera around to the left there, that little wooden platform. That is what we are trying to aim for. So you need to give yourself a nice big swing, a lot of momentum. Sometimes you may be able to reach it. Um, if not, again, you'll just have to put your rope down a little bit smaller. Or a little bit lower, sorry. And give yourself the big momentum swing again. And that is where we find the next cairn. So after you've got that one, then we can deftly swing back. Like George, George, George of the jungle. Look out for that tree! A good classic, that one. So, uh, continue your way back up. And when we're done then, we will climb back onto the old plant and we'll go to the right side. So we'll go down slightly here and then we'll start going over to the right where the story shall progress. So, same sort of thing here. What we're going to do, we're going to jump across, piton in the wall. There we go, as far as you can. Drop yourself down, and now we are going to have to do a nice, another bit of a momentum swing here. And then we're going to press up on the D-pad to get the little bulb plants going. Like so. And they should appear there. Now, because, so basically in this chapter, and only in this chapter, um, the bulb plants basically dry out a lot, uh, they basically dry out quite quickly. Uh, so it's okay for now, but a little bit later on, these bulb plants will basically disappear and, you know, you just have to be a little bit quick with it, that's all. Otherwise, for now, continue on your way up. And you're going to have to press up on the D-pad to get more bulby plants at the top there, but continue upwards. Okay, who wants to go collectible hunting? Let's do it. Go up to the left. And right by the yellow door is going to be the next letter. But I do have a little hug with my little water blobby buddy buddy. So with that done, you've grabbed that letter there, we will turn basically back on ourselves, uh, run towards the right, over to the other side here, and then we're going to press the Y button to get the rope extender out, and then go back to where the uh, last letter was, go across this little bridge here, 
And then on the right, uh, or the left, sorry, is another letter. Now, you may think like these letters on the walls don't matter, but they actually do. They are part of the collectibles. So, you know, well, I'd get them. And once we've done that, we will continue on and we'll press X to go up the rope, up the elevator, sorry, up the lift, whatever you want to call it. And, ooh, now it's dark and cold and lonely. So, continue um, on with this. There's no way getting in there, so no worries about that. But we are going to press up again, get the echo out, so we get the plant extender going. No way to climb up there just yet, though. But, uh, you know, a couple of hugs again, little, little squishy boy. Yum, yum. Uh, right, head up the steps, first of all, and we're going to grab another letter. After that one, we'll go down the stairs and then we'll continue on forwards. We're basically going to be grabbing another letter. Wow, letters coming out the wazoo. So we go to the left, out into the sunshine, head right, and on the wall is another letter. And then there's going to be another one directly behind us as well. So once that is complete, so that should be three letters there in quick succession. So we'll head back to where we found the previous or the second letter, then head to the left, head to the right. And we are basically going to find our first fr uh, altar. Sorry, not fresco, our first altar. Also, the scaring more than 10 Choco Chocos back into their burrow unlocked. It might unlock for you now. It might unlock for you in just a bit. But basically, there's a hell of a lot of them. And you, pretty much that's unmissable. So, uh, press the left trigger and right trigger, then use the left stick to move it left. All you need to do is just spin it once, and Altair has been altered. <laughs> eh. So, continuing on then. So let's go back, and we're going to head left and up this ladder. Now, to be fair, uh, little Ant Juice Boy right here has incredible bravery moving on a ledge when you're about 60 billion feet up in the air. That's, uh, damn. Anyway, we've moved across the ledge. Over into the left corner here is another letter for us to grab. This is another Bianca letter, just in case you were wondering, or if you even cared at all. Yes. Right, so from here then, we're going to go up the steps rather than go up on the lift to get another Kieran. And then we're going to go up the lift that we just ran past. Karen, get the Karen in the Karen. I'm going to Karen it up your Karen. Yes, that is my attempt at Irishness. Not very good. So we are going to press X here to get your rope straight on the extender. Go for the swing and try and grab onto uh, one of the plants. I keep going to call them tentacles, but no, they're <laughs> just one of the plants. Climb up. And continue on forward. So we are coming up to another fresco, so we're going to pop a rope down if you can. Again, sometimes can be a little bit finicky. Um, but just drop down all the way and then press up on the D-pad, of course, as you probably know by now, in order to get the next fresco Tesco. Alright, so that's another one collectively done. So, what we'll do now is go back through the gap, or <laughs> go through the gap, which we haven't been through yet. Um, get an echo out to get this plant extended, grab onto it, climb up it, or grab onto it, whatever you do. Anyway, we're going up here, do the same thing, echo again, and jump up. And do the same thing again, so obviously we are going to climb, just continue to keep climbing up.
I mean, to be fair, this is a lot of ups. This is one of our huge ass tower. A lot of ups. Right, so when we finally climb up and we have gotten up, we're going to get the rope extender out here on the left. Ding! And then there is another shell right on the floor next to us, so pick it up. So once we have quit out of that, we're all good. We are going to press X here to get the bridge down, eventually. Uh, move the camera up, brah, come on. Let's just move it up. Oh, there we go. I got the memo eventually. So we can obviously go across the bridge, head to the right, go in through the little kraken in the wall. And if you have a little look over to the right-hand side here, there is another letter for us to grab. Pardon me, but I've noticed the stuff received my newspapers. Is there anything I should... And we're done. Okay. Sorry I'm not reading them. We just don't have the time. I just can't do it, Captain. I don't have the power. Yep, Ace Ventura. Yes, everyone knows. So, back through the old crack hole. But through the wall, obviously. Don't jump off the edge, of course, and then press X to get your rope going again. So we're going to swing up, or we're going to jump up, and then basically if we just turn around, you can see there's a little gap, or quite a big gap that we're going to go through. So swing your way over there. There we go, man. I got there eventually. <laughs> just about. And as we continue in, we are going to find... Uh, we'll just continue heading down and down and down. And we're coming up to yet another Freshco from Tesco. There it is. Now remember, um, you got to get close enough to it until it turns blue. And that's when you know it's been collected. Plus there's a little autosave in the top right hand corner. So you exactly know. Right, if you haven't given your buddy a hug in a while, give him a couple of hugs now, just to make some progress on that achievement. And remember when you're climbing to just keep jumping as much as you can, just to try and get some more progress on that achievement as well. Um, I'm not saying jump at every opportunity, but you know, it'll help, it'll help. So we're basically going back through and we're going to press up on the D-pad. In fact, no, we're not, sorry, because we're just going to rope it up. In fact, yes, we are pressing. Sorry, sorry, I got just got the order wrong there. So we're not actually going to climb up the plant yet. What we're going to do is just turn around and there's going to be another platform ledge that we can jump on. The one right in front of us now. So just get your momentum going and swing, 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 Spider-Man. Ah! So get your next rope if you have a look up. Then we can get our next rope in the old extenderini. And go for another spin, another drive, another row. And then, of course, we're going straight for the planks in front of us. And climb, climb, climb. Right, once we have finally got to the top, wind your rope in and have a look on the right there for yet another letter. Ah, 
And then when you're done reading, we'll head back on ourselves, go up this little bit of ladder steps or whatever it is, and press X again to whap open the next rope. Swing over to the other side, should make it in one, there we go. Wind your rope back in, and head to the right first of all, in order to get another cairn. There we go. Ah, oh, God, it just still gives me uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla nightmares. Uh, go through the gap, climb up the steps, <laughs> and chapter three will begin solstice so first of all before moving forward turn around there is a collectible that can be very easily missed here just on the back of ourselves or backwards on ourselves it's another bianca letter Right, so with that one done, now we can continue to move forward. Now we're on chapter three. Like I said, this is the level with the bulb plants and they start disintegrating quite quickly. Uh, but in a minute, we'll just come back to that. So that's fine. So head up left, first of all, into the darkness of caves once more. And then what we're going to find right on the other side here is another cairn. There we go. Once that's done, we can just head back the way we came. And who wants to go zip landing? Me! So let's do it. Zip line your way down, baby. Oof! That looks like it hurts right at the end there. Get smashed straight into it. Right, so here we are in what looks like a Texan desert or something, or a desert anywhere in the world, the Sahara, the Bahara, or the Namara. The last two I think I just made up, but uh, so what we're going to do, um, now this may take a few attempts, it certainly took me a few attempts, but we need to double jump up to the top. Might seem like you can't do it, but uh, with enough tries you can get there. <laughs> So when you finally are able to jump up, you are just going to continue on going to the left. There is Nout on the right, so don't worry about it. So, uh, yep, just continue on going to the right for now. Um, and, um, yeah, it's red. So yeah, sometimes, like I said, the game can be finicky with, uh, I don't know if you go too quick, um, that it doesn't um, track or whatever. But anyway, this is what we are talking about here then. So you need to quickly as you can get into the shade. The bulb plants don't go in the shade, but as you can see in the baking, baking sun, oh, they gone. So you just got to be a little bit quick with that. That's all. Again, if not, you'll obviously just um, pull yourself up on the rope and just try again. So that's one good thing, and another good thing about this game is there's no real, you know, if you fail at something or whatever, there's no real uh, negativity, or I uh, can't even think of the word now, but, you know, you don't get reset too far, there's no real punishment. That's what I'm after, which is nice. So, up we've got again. Uh, there's nothing on the right, so we're just going to continue climbing up the rope. And it's like being back in ski. Hey, there we go. Right, so we've uh, just made there. For some reason, I decided to start running into thin air. 
Now, uh, don't worry about failing on this bit. We basically have to get to a platform on the right-hand side. Uh, this is what I mean by how finicky it can be, by the way. So as soon as it goes, make sure to press the X button here to put a bit on in. And then, effectively, what we're going to do is uh, pull the rope down. And you can see just on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen there, that is where we are going to be ending up. So if you need to, what might be easier is if you swing yourself to the right, put another peat on in, and then um, go over to the right-hand side platform. That's what we're aiming for, as I said. Oh. And then eventually, ha-ha, we made it. So, uh, first of all, we'll get the Kern going. The Kern, that's another one done. And then, of course, we are going to press up on the D-pad to get both plants on it. And then, what do you think we're going to do here? Oh, that's red. We are going to... Oh, a bit of a weird thing there happened. Uh, that that wasn't an edit, by the way. That was just my... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what happened. So, we are going to be climbing up. And then, what we're going to do from here is put a piton in the wall. And then again, we are going to swing ourselves all the way back to the left, sort of at the starting point of this little area. So, peat on through, and then just continue on to the left for a second. So, let's go into what looks like somebody's house or something. Climb up, go to the right, and there's a bathtub full of stuff. But right at the back is where we're going to go to find yet another Bianca logbook. Who am's Bianca? Well, if you've been reading, you'll know. But I uh, kind of didn't read, so I don't actually know. Maybe she's Bianca, you know, the... The... Blanca from the tanker. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, go to the right, and <laughs> on the floor, as you can see here, we'll find... Another letter. Was more than real last solution. Uh, Arlo. Uh, I tried to look at names and stuff, but I couldn't find it. So uh, again, just give my little birdie a little smoochy smooch. A little smoochy. Nope. Because that is animal burn, and that's not good. Uh, but again, just give him some hugs if you still don't have that achievement. But again, you should have got two letters in there. And then once that is done, head. Back, and what we're going to do is climb. We are going to now press up on the D-pad. Now, again, you'll have to be quick with this one. Remember, as you can see, they do disintegrate quite quickly. Jump up as far as you can, and once you're in the shade, you are pretty much golden. So now when we get to the far edge as much as you can, what you're going to do is put a piton in. We're going to drop down. We are going to slide over to the right. Um, and again, as you can see, I was just a little bit short there. But uh, yeah, I was a little bit short. So you have to wait until they all disintegrate. Press up on the D-pad again. And hopefully you should get some more bulbs, which I didn't. So we'll try it one more time. And <laughs> I did jump, and luckily I got away with that one. So jump up then, quick as you can, get into the shade on the right, and now you are golden nuggets. So for the first time then, we are seeing these uh, just, well, holes in the wall, really. These are going to become quite prominent for the rest of the game. You literally just press the X button. What that does then is gives you a new location for your rope, and it gives you full stamina as well. So they come in mighty little handy. God damn it. Well, 
Well, second time's a charm, eh? Without uh, forgetting, with uh, actually completely forgetting to edit it out right there. Uh, so, press X there to get the rope on your rope extender. Fly down. You should be able to make this with relative ease. And, yes, we do. So now we're on a whole bunch of what I assume, again, are houses or something. So what we're going to do, we're actually just going to drop down to the left of where we are right now. And we're going to magic up this plant. So magic it up and away it goes. But let's stay here because there is a room to the left or just behind where we are. Just to the left, see the dark room so we can unwind ourselves. Um... We are, in fact, there's nothing in that room, actually. Sorry, so we're going down. Sorry, I thought there was something in that room, but it's not. It's the one just down below where we are. So again, head down. Sort of onto the right-hand side here. And as you can see, there is a letter on the door, the archway right there. And there is absolutely nothing inside. And that's not actual sarcasm. There is actually nothing inside. There's a random bar. So if you fancy a quick drink, which you might as well, since you've been doing a lot of climbing... You can go nuts, but that's all that is down there, then, is just the one letter. So, head to the left, and we are going to climb up the Magic Extendo Planto. Up to the ladder, up to the top. So when we get to this new area then, your first thought would be to go up the steps on the right. That's what we're not going to do, first of all. First of all, we're going to go straight on. And to the left, there is a little open window that we're going to go down. And you can see the old fresco from Tesco. And that's what we're going to do. So pop your rope on the floor, drop down, fresco it up. So let's have a little quick check on the old letters and the old galleries. So that is what you should be on with the letters. If you have a look at the Bianca ones as well, uh, you should be on four right there as well. And if you just check the gallery, you should be on for the four frescoes as well. So you should be on the same as me, plus obviously the altars and stuff that we've done already too. So once we've double checked that, let us continue on our way. Uh, so obviously what we're going to do is uh, just climb back up. Let's get out of here, man. Let's get out. <laughs> now we shall descend the ladder of hell. Or life, or whatever. Um... So let's just continue up, uh, following ladders, continuing up. So basically there's going to be an achievement for freezing 25 pebbles. Now, the pebbles in this, they're basically little bug-like rock creatures. Only tiny little things that crawl on the walls. And we're going to be coming up to some soon. You just need to basically freeze 25 of them. But there are quite a few places in this chapter where we can get that achievement. And I'll obviously let you know where. So um, here we go. Back into the, the old wide world of the old sunny tan goodness. So what we'll do then, head to the... Well, we're heading basically to the left of where we came from. We're going to drop down. And we are going to go into this right side of the platform. Eh, come here, let me off. Let me off. Thank you for letting me off. And then if we go straight in front of us, there is yet another... Uh, no, wrong button, we'll try that again, but another shell to collect.
Now let us swiftly and frankly and quickly move on. So head to the left, we're going to climb back up, but what we're actually going to do is try and get our plant. See the plant there on the left? We're going to try and uh, sort that one out. So there we go, once you climb to the top, then we are able to move up too. So let us head back to the left. And we're going to go up the steps and we're going to do a little bit more climbing. Now, this is actually the first place where you can freeze some, some of these little pebbles. Uh, so if we just continue climbing to the right, eventually we're going to see some. There they are. Now, these little things move around. Now, what you need to do is obviously just hold on to them by pressing the right or left trigger. And then you can use them in the direction they go to uh, get onto some more uh, rocks in order to climb. Uh, now, I thought you might just be able to freeze the same three or four and do that, but no, they've got to be 25 different ones. Uh, but you can freeze them into place, which comes in especially handy if you need some more stamina or if you need to get um, jump up to another rock bug or anything like that. So from here, what you need to do then is obviously just uh, keep heading to the right uh, once we get up to this point. And then it's job done. There's going to be a little bit of a edit just popping up now. But I'm still on that same rock, as you can tell. So I just jumped up, and now we're going to move on to the right. So when we get up here then, if you look to your left, you uh, there's another letter for us. Um, so we can press up there to get the plant going, and then on the left is another letter. A Bianca letter, as it were. So with this done, let's turn around and continue on straightwards. So, where are we now? A big... Big, wide Texan world. So we're going to continue and we're going to go up the steps. There we go. And we've got some more things to grab. So first of all, on the right is another letter. So we're going to pop that one up. So make sure to just obviously smash through it as we've been doing. And there's actually nothing here. Uh, but if you were to turn directly around, you can see there's another letter just before the doorway right there. So nip that one in the, in the bud or something. Just grab it. Grab it now. Once you've grabbed that, head inside this little spooky place. And then from here, what we could do is continue straight on. And to the left at the bottom of the stairs is another letter. And onwards we go, my little hairy friends. Some of you are not hairy, some of you are hairy. But you know what I mean. You're all my friends. Thank you. Thank you for being my friends, you get. I feel so loved. Anyway, we have completed this little area there with all the letters. So for now, we'll go to the left. Oh, in fact, uh, no, we won't go to the left, actually. Um, we are going to he start heading down this little cliffside. So continue on down. All the way down, you can see a couple of plants that are, we are going to help in order to nip us back up in just a little bit. But if we head down one more, and again, you can see the cairn that we're going to grrrn. Now, bountifully make your way back up. Right, don't worry about the collectible there in front of you. We've already done that one. Uh, I did get a little bit paranoid, so I went back to it, but we've already done that one. So from here, head to the left. And then we are going to climb up these steps, do a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more traversing once again.
Okay, so this is where we are going to get the achievement for freezing 25 pub, uh, pebbles. <laughs> pebbles. Pebbles in just a bit. So what we're going to do, pop the axe down. <laughs> pop the axe down, that sounded wrong. So what we need to do then is swing across, press up on the D-pad, but you've got to be quick with this bit. So you effectively have to press up on the D-pad and jump to get the bow plants going. They will be quick and they will disappear very quickly. So quick as you can. You might get lucky. Now, I did get lucky with this one because I actually held onto a rock bug and then I messed it up. So I had to do that again. But once you freeze it, there should be more than enough rock bugs here uh, in order for the achievement to unlock. If it doesn't unlock here, as you can see, messed that one up. So I've got to do it again. If the Collective Climb achievement doesn't unlock, then there is another place with a lot more bugs, so don't worry about it just yet. So, as you can see, because I messed up, we need to do it again. Uh, so we'll just do that one, and you should just make it there. And job done. Right, now all you got to do then is climb onto these rock bugs into the direction of go. We need them, obviously, to go to the left. You can see where we can... Uh, use the echo from our ballast to get some plant bulbs going. If they start slowing down and stopping, you need to climb onto another one and then just keep going. So, let's chuck our new rope down in its new home. Oh, he likes it. Uh, so, once we've done that, then we should get full stamina. Now, what we need to do then is we need to basically swing onto the windmill. Again, may take a few attempts in order to get there, but uh, you should hopefully be able to make it. So, swing low. Sweet. I'm not singing no English songs. It's all about the swing sheep. Shag sheep. Mm. No, that's a stereotypical Welsh thing as well, isn't it? So once you've got onto the windmill, just continue to climb across to the right. And then we're going to be doing some more Spider-Man sling swinging. Boy, that looked, uh, oh man, this kid must be schnackered. Right, so let's get our rope back, and then we're going to use it on the ropey extender. And then we're going to be doing quite a bit of, uh, well, not yet, but we just need to get on this platform. And we have to do a bit of careful climbing in just a bit. So, uh, wind your rope back in. And then what you're going to do is get the rope extender out there. And then continue on upwards. Take a cheeky little left at the intersection. Well, in fact, left is the only way we can go. And then take a cheeky left at this intersection and head down. And oh, what do we have now? We're going to rope up the rope. We will drop straight down. Okay, get in the hole. And we have found another Altair. Altair has been altered. <laughs> it's still a terrible joke, but I said it again anyway. <laughs> Left trigger, left stick it, boosh!
Man, haven't I hugged my broski 20 times yet? Ugh, it's taking too long. Right, so, uh, there's nothing going on the left, obviously, so we need to up the D-pad and climb on up again. It's just going to be a lot of that for the rest of the game. Do this and then climb up. Do that and then climb up. Climb up and then climb up. Oh, and apparently I just, bro I just broke my back. What happened, Mike? Spinal. It's a nice sunny day to get some collectability. So, wind your neck in, wind your rope in, and to the left here, next to the tree, is another letter. Right, so, go forward, you can see a plant that needs erecting, so bump it up. There we go, lovely. And give yourself the little climb of life up again. Right, so we're coming up to, remember what I said earlier about the careful jumping, climbing thing? This is it now. So, what we're going to do, or what I highly recommend you do, is make a double jump and put a piton in the wall. Because if you fall, then, well, that's a pain in the ass to get back up slightly. So just jump across. There was an edit because I fell twice. And until you get to the next cairn. And that's all there is. That's all the murder she wrote in this chapter. And then just head back to the other side. So unwind that stuff from your buff. And then we're going to head up the lift. So, once we get up to the lift, what we're going to do, we're not going to go left, we're going to go right. Just have a look if there's any collectibles, but there's actually nothing there. So what we need to do now, this is another bug rock section. So again, if you don't have the collective climb achievement yet, make sure to press up on the D-pad now. Which, to be honest, you probably should be doing anyway in order to make your climb just a touch easier. Uh, but this is all you're doing for this bit then, so get on the, the uh, rock, rock bugs and just make your way upwards. But you should be good when you get here. We're going to make a jump to the right. So again, make sure to be putting some pitons down as well. Obviously saves you starting again all the way from the bottom. So uh, get these little bell plants up and then continue on your way to the rightness. There is a method to the madness, just keep on climbing your way up, keep on climbing your way up and then eventually we will get up here and find just a lone, lonely little shell. Now you may be wondering how we get back down. Well, 
Well, that's easy. Just uh, stick a rope in the ground and slide, boys, slide. Okay, well, don't actually slide. Climb onto a rock bug. Uh, we actually need to continue sort of left and up. So get the bulb plants out. Now this is actually where I get the acrobat achievement for performing 200 jumps or double jumps. So again, obviously you might have done this one earlier or you may get a bit later on. Either way, uh, just remember to grab this achievement whenever you can. Here we are then, very lovingly at the top. Uh, just give my little birdie a nice squeeze. Eek. Okay, stop squeezing me now. Get the hell off. I'm just joking. Right, go into this left side dark area to find yet another Bianca letter. So that's the only letter in this place, so we'll drop down and continue heading upwards, up the old stepnesses. Right, so let's get the X button on the rope extender. Pop your camera up if you could, sir. Thank you very much. And then swinging, George. Swing! And crack your back and your legs. Slicey. Right, so jump it off. And then what we're going to do, we're going to head up the right. And then here we are then, just to the right, just in between all this stuff right here is another letter. So make sure to grab that. By the way, if I'm sounding a bit subdued and a bit annoyed, it's because my, my beloved Manchester United are losing to FC bloody Copenhagen. Ah, we suck the majority of donkey balls. <sighs> anyway, we're going to head basically at the back of this area into this little hut or whatever it is right here, for another letter. No, no, I'm calm, I'm happy. Ah, uh, but these players get paid like 300 grand a week to be shite. I wish, I'm shite at everything. Why can't I get paid 300 grand? God damn it. Right, anyway, enough talk about football. Let's crack down. And then we're going to go up and you can see this ladder now in front of us. But straight ahead is the next cairn, which we're going to cairn. Once we've turned the current, we can now head, but we were actually going to go back up the ladder, so we're going to unwind the rope. Oh, I think we can just climb up, actually. Yeah, we should be good. Just continue on the climb up. And now we're going to wind it in. So jump up the next couple of times right here. Not up to the very top, but just the one below. So let's, uh, yeah, there we go. And here we are into this little area with a big fire pit or something or other. And we're going to go straight across the bridge. And of course, what we're going to do, pop the, pop the rope down, 
slide down, turn around, and go straight for the other bridge, which is collapsed. And then from here, what we'll do, we're going to take a little left through the gap in the fence, or the gap in the wall. Take a another little slight down. Take the rope, drop it down. Take the rope, drop it down. And doing something with a rope is uh, like watching Manchester United these days. <laughs> Sticking it around your bloody nostrils. Anyway, go inside, and there is another fresco from Tesco. When we get back to the top, then we're just going to continue going straight on. And we're not going to be too far from finishing up Chapter 3 now, actually. Um, but, uh, you know, a few more things to do, a few more things to collect, a few more things to enjoy. Like the bacon sun, need that epic tan, yo, before we go inside. Uh, heading up these bunch of steps right here will get us another letter. Good to go, bro. Let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. So, straight down, nice big boat um, that we are not going to give too much of a monkey's about. But on the right here is the next cairn, right on the edge. Now, that again, if you are scared of heights, that is one poop crappingly panty time. That is, isn't it? So, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to actually just jump up on that box right there. We're going to be doing some climbing. So, jump up and just make your way to the right. And then what we actually need to do here, what we're going to do, we're going to climb all the way up to the top as far as we can go, which is about here. We're going to put a piton, a piton down, and then we're going to uh, go down, and then we are going to make a break for the left. Now you can just see the wooden platform that we need to get on there. So get another piton up there, and then that should give you just enough swing and momentum in order to climb up, and then actually miss somehow, and then break the back of your neck. Tidy boys. So we'll just... <laughs> Try again. Ah, we make it eventually, don't we? But straight away, there is, as you can see right in front of us, another letter. So pick that one up. Letters coming out of the wazoo. I think I've already said that once. So uh, well, I'll just take that back. So once you grab that letter, continue on forward. And then we're just going to nip around. Not up the... Uh, in fact, yeah, up the steps. Sorry. So up the steps we go. Yeah, and then straight in front of us there is yet another letter. It's a Bianca one this time. So now, turn around. Get ready to turn around. Uh, well, you've already turned around, you know what I mean. Uh, but we're actually going to drop down to the left first in order to grab another shell. So make sure to grab that. And then we're going to be going for another collectible in just a moment as well.
Right, so we are going to stay in this little bottom area. There's a little uh, walkway we can just nip in through. What we're doing is heading back to the edge, go to the right, climbing up the ladder. We're going to take a cheeky little left now, heading up the steps. This is literally, uh, this is that Devil May Cry big tower, isn't it? The Tower of Death. Where the tower just keeps going, except there's no death in this one. But it, it is a hell of a tower. So one to the left then, through this broken brick wall, and continue on down. And then to the right of us right now is going to be the next fresco. Another little hug for my little squishy mitten. Uh, so continue, so basically go back to the left now. We are going to come back out from where once, whence we just once came. There we go, back into the glorious sunshine. Get your little rope extender out. Hey, that's what happens when you see me. <laughs> no, it's not. And then we're going to climb down, climb down, climb down. Get onto this platform here on the left and interact with the Kiarn. And shoot your spiderweb sling back up, and up we go. I'm still getting tired looking at Juice Ant right here, or Juice Ant, or receding hairline, or whatever it's uh, whatever it's for. Um, so, yeah. So what we're gonna do? We're going to go around this building here, and then we're gonna sneak our way through. And we have more delicious stuff we're going to grab. First of all, on the left is yet another letter. Then we should continue on our merry way, going straight. And we're going to plug in this rope. And once again, we're going to go for a little climb. It's basically climbing uh, the way around. We've got some more bugs here. Again, if you need that collective climb achievement, which you shouldn't do, but just in case... Uh, there is some more there, so we're just heading for the platform on the right. Put on some, uh, get some piton, pitons in, just in case you fall. I fell a couple of times there, and it was a pain to get back around. So once that's done, wind your no rope in again, and more climbing. Wow. So you're going to actually have to need to go a little bit higher. Again, kind of a bit finicky there. It took me a little bit to get through it, but you need to get there because that is the only way that you can swing without smashing your back on the wall behind you and climbing up on the ladder. I will try that again. Just when you think it ends, it doesn't end. So, before heading up, we're going to go straight, go to the left, uh, not in this particular area, but the next one. There it is, right at the end. And we are going to interact with this plant to get it going. And then from here, we can actually now head up. That's not a collectible on the right, by the way, that is just one of the Zeppelin. Zeppelin. Shaka bra. Well, you know it. So, head to the left. And continue going around the building, heading up the steps, etc, etc. So once we're at the top here then, uh, there's nothing on the right for now. Well, there will be, but uh, there's a collectible on the left before we go to the right. Tis, just another letter though. Tis, tis, tis. So get the tis in your frizz. Give your little buddy another huggy. Surely that's going to be 20 by now, right? <gasps> yes, it is! <laughs> hey! So I finally hugged my little broski 20 times, got the restored connection achievement. So again, 
you know, that will definitely come naturally. Or if you just want to get it out of the way, like I said, just hug him 20 times until the achievement unlocks. So now we're going to head down the zip line, but we're not actually going to get another achievement now until chapter five when we have collected all of the collectibles. Yes. So we're not actually going to grab that for a while. So now we can head up. Then we can go straight in front of us next to this thing, whatever it is, and interact with this letter. And then we're going to go for a ride down the zipline, Shaka, bruh. Okay, help a broski by getting his rope extender out. There we go. Give it a little flick and a little dink. Tickle. There you go. Tickle the pickle. That one's out. And then we can climb upwards again. <laughs> meh, meh, meh. So when you get on this little ledge, obviously make sure you got your rope in and then <laughs> Europa. That's where Manchester United are going to end up. The Europa League. Because we suck. Um, sorry. And then just swing yourself across again. Nice bit of momentum. And then go ahead and grab one of the bug rocks. There should be a couple about. And then it's literally just a case of continuing on to the right, as you can see. Oh my god, finally we made it. But before interacting with the noise hole, the mouth hole, go to the right, basically back behind you, to grab the final Bianca's letter in this chapter. Once that is done, stick your mouth hole on the blowhole. Right in the middle, and that's going to be chapter three done. On to chapter four. So on to chapter four we go. Now I'd say this is definitely the last of the longest, uh, long chapters anyway. Chapter three and chapter four, the longest ones. Uh, chapter five and six gets a bit shorter then. So first of all then, um, th luckily for us this time the bulb plants won't disintegrate from the sun. So we can echo it 
and climb up and continue on our way to the left. Chuck a cheeky little rope in at the top. Hello, rope extender. And make your way there, effectively there to the left rather than going right. And of course, as always, there's always a good reason for it because, ta-da, there is collectibles. And there it is to the right of us. So that is another letter to fit safe and sound in your pocket somehow. So head back up the steps and then continue going straight forward. When we get to the top of the steps, turn left, chuck a cheeky bit of rope extensiones on again. And you're going to have to do some jumping, Assassin's, Assassin's Persian Prince of Creed style. And now what you can do, if you press up on the D-pad to call the sparks, jump once, and then the sparks will carry you up. Of course, you still have to hold on to the ledge above, but these come in handy, of course, a little bit later on. Very convenient that they're here to help us. So climbing up the ladder... Jump up to the right platform here, and then open up the door. Okay, so when we get down to the floor, the door has now opened up for us. Now, it's going to be a little bit of an edit here, but go to the left on this ladder. Sorry, I started off the wrong side. So if you go to the left on the ladder, take a right, go across this little path bridge thing, and we are going to find another Karen to uh, Karen us up with. Hey, Karen, I called the manager, Karen. Oh, sorry. No, I don't want to offend the Karens. So uh, head back then, the way we came. Uh, which means going back down the ladder or simply just jumping off and not smashing your ankles. Uh, continue going down. There's nothing to the left of us, even though it may seem that there is. But we're going to the right to climb back up the ladder or climb up the next ladder, as it were. Nothing on the right, so continue going around to the left. So when we get here, we're going to take a right, first of all. So take a right, take a left, and before you're heading on there, you can see the shell, which we can go ahead and grab. Man, imagine saying that with a Sean Connery, uh, she shall, she shall, she shall, she shall, she shall, she shall, not steered, as it were. So, uh, continue to the left, going straight, ignore the sparks for now, straight up onto the table is another letter. Now, I get a little bit, um, stupid here, so what we need to do from the letter, we actually need to take a left. Um, down the steps, the room straight in front of us, but then for some reason I'm deciding to go nuts. I don't know what's happening right now. Um, there we go. So I <laughs> do that. I do get there eventually. Uh, but if you continue on straight, there's going to be another fresco to Chesco. It's going to be uh, to the right of coming down the steps. <laughs> Ah. 
So heading back up, and we are going to actually go to Corvus Parks now. We are going to go for a nice little jump. Don't you know, jump it up. You got to pump it up. Nah, bruh. Uh, not there, but to the left, there we go. So we will actually drop the rope down first, or grab the bridge. Uh, grab the bridge, rope down, jump the bridge down. That's what I'm trying to get at. And then we can finally go and get sparks. So jump it up. Don't you know, jump it up. So jump against the wall and make sure to climb on to this part. Climb yourself up. Yeah. Man, by the way, dude must have, even though he's got a rope, must have an incredible set of biceps. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, like. So going across the bridge, you can see the uh, next letter, which obviously you can only grab by pulling the bridge down from underneath you. So grab the letter and then go back across the little bridge. And straight in front of us, we're going to uh, open up the rope extender there. And then we can just press the X button to jump on and climb down. So uh, unwind your rope and then continue left. Uh, when I say left, I actually mean left. Um, so you're looking for these uh, more of the sparks. That's where it was, just in that little cubby hole bit right there. So jump yourself up. Whoa, Jesus, man, watch me head. Watch me head, like. Um, go to the uh, straight on, actually. We're going to be going to the climby bit. And at the very, very top, straight in front of us, is going to be letter number 23 billion, whatever. I, I've lost count, but it is another letter to grab. So, once that is grabbed, we should be all uh, good to go. So, we can actually go ahead and just jump straight down. With our rope, of course. Don't smash those little twiglet ankles. And then open the door straight in front of us. And away we go! Straight in. No lube, all good. Uh, so once you nip in, we are going to uh, press the X button on the rope extender. Sorry, that's what we're doing. And then we're going to fly our way up, turn around, and we're going to go onto this sort of upper platform. Yeah, well, I'll try to just, I'll just try that one again. Yeah, there we go. So climb up then onto these rocks. Uh, sorry, it was the rocks, not the platform. That's what I meant. And spark your way up. Again, sometimes they can be a bit finicky where they just drop you halfway through for some particular reason. But it's all good. So, from here, just go straight in front of us into this little candle-lit horror room. Into the next room and continue going straight. So, pass this big uh, bit on our left and do some climbing. <laughs> Easy as poi. Easy as a Guinness steak poi now. So, uh, grab the... <laughs> I'm so sorry, Irish people. My accent genuinely is terrible. So, once you've grabbed the bridge down, straight in front of us is going to be yet another Bianca letter. And then directly to your left. Oh, look at that. It's another letter. Jen. Jen. Any more for any more? Eh, uh, no. So let us go to the right. We're actually going to start climbing up rather than going back across the bridge. And we are just going to make our way up here. Oh, man. See me glowing in uh, midair then? Uh, floating in midair? God, man, I'm getting all my words mixed up. That's because I hate Manchester United, but I love them. So, uh, the spark's coming out once we fly straight in front of us, so jump up. 
after you've echoed as well, and then you can jump your way up. Um, yep, echo and continue on to the left. For a sneaky little letter, again, a lot of these, to be fair, are, a lot of these collectibles are in genuinely really good locations, ones that you wouldn't even think, you know, not obvious locations, but yes, that is another one that could be easily missed. So, um, obviously pop your rope into the ground and then continue going this time to the right. So climb on the plant and go to the right. Now, what I would advise here is put your rope in here because you can fall. A lot, a lot of high edges and stuff like that, you can't fall, but this time you actually can. I actually fell and it took me ages to realize what I was doing and where I was going. So, pop your rope in there and then up on the D-pad, get the bell plants out. We'll just try that one again. And climb, boy, climb. So again, then what you need to do is put a pit on down, a pit on, whatever you want to call it. Drop down a little bit, swing yourself over to the left, press up on the D-pad to get the more bulb plants out, and grab an away. Coming away, neighbors. Everyone's an Australian neighbor. All right, get the rope extender out, and then continue down. We are going to now do some more climbing, as it were. Incredible, that's all we've been doing in the game, huh? Oh man, that was a big climb. So once we get up to the top of this little room here, we are going to go to the right. We're going to jump up again, heading up these tiny little steps and opening the door. What goodness is behind the door? The minis of Mystery's Closet. Now, just a letter here on the left. And once we have done that letter on the left, we can actually just head straight through the door we came from, drop straight down and go straight through in order to get another bit of frescans. Okay, so turn around slightly, start heading to the right, uh, taking this little wooden path around. Starting to get pretty high now, as if we already weren't in chapters one, two, and three. So take the zip line, shaka bra, down. So as we get uh, come up here on the lift, take a left right here, and we're going to grab another collectible, or it's going to be another Kern collectible, Kyren, and then from here we can go basically to the right of where we were past what looks like a, a deck of cards, but it's actually just a big wall. Go to the right again. Oh, in fact, actually straight in front of us in the boat is the next shell.
Ah, uh, Bibi, is we miss are you missing achievements popping on screen? Well, we'll get some soon. Just a long while to go yet. So, go straight up the ladder. If we turn around from where we were, straight up the ladder. And on the left is another letter collectible. Then we can lovingly and happily just jump straight down. Ouch, my face. Sorry about that, Mr. Juicy Ant. Blur, or whatever, you, whatever the hell we called you. Climbing up the ladder now to the right. And we're going to go left. Straight through and up the steps. Up some more steps. Up some more steps. And straight through once again. And take a right. And there's going to be a letter literally right there. The community canteen. Upcoming activities. Fight. Nice. That's a good, a good team building activity, that one. Fight. And steal each other's milk and stuff. So over to the left is another uh, letter. No one cut. Rose is red, violet to blue. Where are woe? Uh, where are where has everyone gone to? Not the best rhyme in the world, but we'll take it. So that is uh, should be two letters right there. So uh, if we go, in fact, we're going up the ladder just to the right of where the last letter was. So, turn around, take a look up high in the sky with Arnie Pie. That's uh, a long rope we got to shoot. So, we can go ahead and go swinging. Let's go swinging. And any couples playing this account going, hmm, swinging, eh? I don't mean that kind of swinging. I mean Spider Man slinging. Now, what we're actually trying to get to is the wall straight in front of us, which I appear to be having issues with. Again. <laughs> So once we get to the top, before going any further, see this little plank of wood. We're going to stick our rope in. We're going to climb down to the platform just below to get ah uh, yet another letter. And then, of course, what we're going to do from here is we're just going to uh, climb our way back up. Not climb, but rope our way back up. So from here, instead of going straight, take a left, go all the way to the end to find the next kirn. Kirn! Yeah, it just ended up sounding like Cardi B then. Fantastic lyrics there from uh, Cardi B, as usual. Um, so, <laughs> up we climb, and again, just to the left of us is going to be a another letter. Come now, dear friend, make up some actual lyrics instead of just shouting words down a microphone. <clears throat> Sorry. I, uh, no more, no more. No more biatching. So what we get then, after we've echoed our little bulby plants up,
Now this bit was actually a bit of a pain in the old bundersnatch for me in all fairness because I didn't have that much stamina and what we need to do then is make a double jump up to the sparks and then jump and make sure to grab onto one of the bug rocks. Now I thought it would take me all the way to the top but it doesn't. So the sparks take you about halfway and then you have to grab onto one of the um, bug rocks. As you can see, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It really depends. Remember, obviously you can freeze them in place though, which is obviously very handy. But once you've done that, all you've got to do is just keep climbing bug rocks, rocks until we get to the very top hops. Now, if you're scared of heights anymore, make sure to go across the extremely narrow ledge where if you did fall right now, you would plummet to your untimely demise. So next up, stick your rope in the hole and then we are going to climb down. There's going to be a little tiny uh, cave looking entrance for us. There it is. So drop down, um, echo the magic plant up. There it is. So get that growing. Showing. Man, I'd like to place my hand up. Sorry, Tenacious D. Uh, there's the next altar anyway. So get that flowing and showing and growing. Ta -da! Okay, let's go now. Okay, let's go. Come in. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I got there eventually. So, uh, obviously taking a left, climbing back up. And now we can actually climb up these little platform bits and continue onwards. Before heading straight on, take a left when we get here to find the next car to, to find the next car the B car. There's the next one, and then we can continue straight on. Nice big bridge to uh, crappy pants on. Now this part may look quite intimidating, but it's generally not bad. You can obviously uh, jump up and use the sparks in order to jump yourself up as well. Make sure to be putting pitons in um, sort of as many sort of locations as you can. And then if you can see on just in the top right hand corner, that is where the next rope um, placement thing is. So that's what we're aiming for.
Oh my, oh my God, that was a climb and a half. So squeeze your buns through here. And again, there's gonna be a couple of collectibles just at the end for us to lovingly enjoy. <gasps> oh my God, it's jellyfish. What time's jellyfish doing here? Anyway, heading to the right, uh, continue or continuing down the path and narrow. And here to the left is another fresco Tesco Mesco. Oh. So turn back, head through the next gap in the wall. Yeah, but effectively the way we came, of course, into weird jellyfish land where it, I, pff, I got no idea what's going on, but I like it. So on straightwards we go again, and now time to do some climbing up rather than climbing down. So chuck a pit on in the wall, drop down, and then you are going to swing yourself to the right where you can see the ladder to climb. Ah. Okay, so if we go to the right, look up, we're going to shoot a cheeky rope somewhere. There we go, we eventually got there. So what we're going to do then, we are actually going to try and get to that rock wall in front of us in order to climb up and grab another collectible. So yeah, those are uh, a bit of swingy Spider-Man bits. They they can take a few times. Certainly took me a few tries. Right anyway, right here is another letter. Sorry, Ida. I'd uh, not know where I'm going. I'd uh, Idaho. <laughs> I not Idaho. You Idaho. Sorry. Uh, so um, right here then, uh, we can now just take the cheeky little zip line down through the jellyfish who will not sting you, luckily. Because if they did sting you, you're going to let go and, oh, man, you're going to be dead before you hit the ground. So, uh, right, well, now we're here. Let's go to the left. Pick up a, another, hey, big guy, I hope you're well. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know me. You can't be talking to me, I'm the small guy. Anyway, that's the next letter grabbed, done, and dusted. Heading around to the right. Pop your uh, rope in, of course, or chuck it at the top. And then fly upwards and grab to the rock, ladder and up. Boy, it's a cheeky old time. It's a uh, slightly difficult there, but like I said, pit onto the wall. They'll sort you out, no problem. 
always worth doing. You've got three to use, of course. So before heading to the right, we are going to actually head to the right because there's no collectible there. My bad. Uh, so now we can go ahead and pull the bridge down. Go on, big guy. Pull it down. Oh, yeah. And what have we got straight in front of us? Absolutely this letter on the wall. So we need a big swing now in order to get to the, the other side. So if we just turn the camera to the right slightly, there we go. That is the rock wall that we need to try and get into. Again, this is another one that may take just a couple of tries. Um, just getting the distance right and everything. And the rope length. So just after we cross this bridge, right in front of us now is going to be another shell to collect. Shelly! So, after the shell's done, take a little look to the right, and we will find yet another letter. They often were, we were heaven if the rain had returned. Um, you'd probably get wet, I, I assume? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Right, continue going up and straight. Bong! So that's us down. So when we get to the other side here, we there's obviously only one path to go. And it ain't going down. Straight up again. Straight up to the lift. And away we go. That's some cool elevator music. Etc, etc. Right, uh, going just past all these little squarey, stony bits. Uh, there's going to be absolutely nothing on the left there, so head to the opposite side and continue on. So let's get to the top here and then turn around, take a look up and stick your rope in the rope extender at the top. I don't actually know if it's called a rope extender. I just, uh, I just, yeah, seems to work. So more swinging, but what we're going to do, we are going to um, actually head up. So climb up the rope a little bit and you can see the uh, next sort of rock platform that we're trying to get straight in front of us now. Should be easy to get to. There we go. We are then going to pull the next rope down, the rope bridge. Nice and easy. Up the lift. And again, turn around rather than go up the stairs. Uh, get the rope extender in and fly across to the other side. Uh, yeah, almost. Almost mashed that one up. And that is another Kiln. Uh, there's going to be nothing to the left, so just turn around and jump back to the other side and head up the old wooden piers.
again, it's a little bit of a long climb up there, but once we are here, we are then going to finish the level by sticking your mouth hole in the blowhole and onto Shatter 5. So again, that's the longest one done. Uh, the longest one, I think, in my opinion, anyway. So Chapter 5 is going to be around 20 minutes long or so. Not many collectibles left as well to grab. And then it's just onto Chapter 6, which is about 10 minutes long, and then the end of the game. Now, this is actually quite the fun chapter, but it can be a pain in the butt as well. So, as you can see, it is extremely windy. Now, the way you can tell the direction of the wind, you see right up above us right now what's flapping in the wind. So, that's obviously going to change direction, whatever uh, direction that the wind is blowing. So, obviously, sometimes if we need to go to the right, we need to wait until the wind is blowing more right. Obviously, with the left, wait until it's going more left. And then, obviously, if it's going upwards, that is your opportunity then to jump like hell. Now, what this does do is, obviously, it does take quite a bit of stamina off us as well. So, you just got to be careful with that one. Uh, there's obviously going to be a lot more of these um, rope ex these rope, rope holes or whatever they are. So, that gives us a nice little stamina edge. So, obviously, you, you probably tell the way the wind direction is going anyway. But it's always best, the indicator there is just having a look at the weather things. So we're obviously heading left here. And we are, with the wind as well, it can be kind of, <laughs> quite realistically, can be tricky to start climbing. So you just got to be a little bit careful there. Once the wind is blowing right, we're going to jump over to the right. Make sure to hold on and grab on. Keep filling yourself up with stamina. And anything else you can find as well.
Right, so this bit was a bit of a pain for me, personally. It took me about 10 minutes to get through this bit, so... What you need to do is just hang on and then keep climbing up. Uh, obviously, it's, uh, it doesn't seem that bad so far, but it's when you get to this part, which is the extra bit of pain. So, what we need to do is grab onto the one windmill, hang onto the edge. So, don't go too far in the middle, because you'll end up falling down. You can't place a piton down any, uh, either, so you got to do this bit quite good. Um, as soon as we get here, we can then just um, obviously jump up to the top one. Wait until we spin around. You can put the bulb plants on the left, but we're actually not going to climb them or anything. Um, so then what we need to do, as soon as we start heading down and to the right, we need to not jump. Don't jump because you get blown away. Just simply climb over to the other side here on the rock. And then what we need to do is wait until the wind is pointing upwards and then jump up. So yeah, that did take me quite a few minutes in order to sort of figure out, it, it, or just do properly anyway, what a pain that was. So there we go. So even actually, if even if the wind's not blowing up, you should be able to uh, do the double jump. Once we've climbed up, go to the right, and then we are snafe and snound. Look at just I'm bloody freezing looking at this wind. So let's grab some collectibles. First of all, head up the steps here onto the right. The here is the next shell. We are going to be unlocking some mega achievements. That beautiful rare achievement sound. Ba ding ding. Next up, once the shell disappears, um, we will go up this little ramp, and to the left, as you can see, is where the next current is, the next current. Uh, what we can do is obviously drop down, head to the right this time, at the back wall, or on the back wall, is the next Bianca letter. And there that one is. And then finally, go straight in front of us to find the next fresco. What's funny is every time we interact with the fresco, you can hear a little juicy antler going, oh, sounds just like Randy Marsh from the World of Warcraft episode in South Park, doesn't he? We can't trust the sword of a thousand lives, a thousand truths to a noob. Oh, you know, if you know South Park, you know that Randy noise all too well. So. Back out into the open. Let's get our rope on. So we will drop down slightly. Now what we're going to do, we are going to obviously go to the left. That's the only place we can go. But there is kind of a sort of tricky jump that we have to do in order to get to the sort of far left platform which we need to get on. So continue climbing over here. Again, if you need some more stamina, chuck your rope in there. Should be okay for now, but... Well, tis always worth doing, isn't it? Then she blows, and then what we're going to do, we're going to swing down. And we are going to try and jump. While the wind is going to the left, we are going to jump as far as we can over to the left. And try and grab the windmill if we can. Now, of course, you could have easily just gone up this way, but you would have missed the collectibles. That's why we went up the way we did. So once you've grabbed the windmill then, you can see on the top there, there is another rope thing, bro, if you want to do that one. But what we're actually going to do is jump over to the ladder here on the left, and then when while the wind is going to the left, it's a bit of an edit here, but I've just gone down a few steps. Uh, so once the wind is going to the left, jump over, and you should make it. 
So let us unwind. Let's unwind. Straight in front of us again is the next shell. And while we're in the nice and warmth and not being blown away to absolute smithereens, uh, actually, never mind, let's just go back. Uh, so, so, I'm sorry to confuse you right there. Oh my god! My balls are blown off, man! Or something or other. So head to the right, and this time we can actually continue the climb up. Go ahead and pop your cheeky little rope boy in there, and continue to the upper rooney. Man, that's a powerful old wind right there. Jesus. Right, since we are now back in the warmth, let us continue on, grab some more collectibles. So straight through, take a left to go down the steps. To you too. And grab the next Fresco Tesco coffee machine. And get the next round in marsh noise. Oh, oh. Art, 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 art. Right, so from here we will be going. There's nothing in that room. Um, so we can just hit go to the place we just came down from. So back up the steps. Go to the right into the sort of main room that we were in. Take an another right just up these little steps here. And grab the next letter. Uh, in fact... The first achievement we should be getting for getting all collectibles is the Avid Reader one for reading all the letters. So we should be getting that quite soon and shortly. So, continuing on to the left. And if we go straight ahead of us, you can see yet another letter. This is the letter of life. But it's not the achievement letter yet, so we, get, we are getting there. Slowly. Oh, in fact, no! I lie! It is! That should be your last letter. Sorry. Oh my god. That should be your last letter. Uh, we've still got some Bianca letters to grab, but you should then, from that one, have the Avid Reader achievement. Again, if not, you'll be able to do chapter select and see which ones you're missing at the end of the game. So, no panic about that there, brother. Right, again, obviously our job is to keep climbing up, wait until the wind is going up, and then fly. Exactly not like that.
Right, so once we get out of the other side, what we're going to do is go down here to get the first Bianca letter, and then we're going to take a right, so don't, uh, take a left, sorry, so we're not going to go right out into the open, we're going to take a left, and we're actually going to grab the last Bianca journal entry, so straight ahead of us, you can see a hole in the floor, jump down, the final Bianca letter is behind us on the table, there we go, every night, when I try to sleep, because something's growing inside of me. But wait, that's impossible because I'm a man. Oh, I'm going to crap it down the pan. Man, I'm just too cute. So anyway, that should be the last <laughs> Bianca entry. So you should get the final ascent achievement. Continue going downwards and onwards to get the next fresco. This is actually the last fresco as well. So you should also get the antique gallery manager as well. So, so far then, if you have been following along well and you're all good, you should have three of the collectible achievements unlocked now. And the we're going to get two at the same time as well for the next one for turning all the altars and listening to all the shells. But from here, we can just climb back up the ladder, a ladder, the ladder, and head straight out into the open coldness. Right, so again, another set of easily missed collectibles coming up here. So what we're going to do, when we pop our rope down here, eventually, there we go. So we're actually just going to drop down. Ouch, you're thinking, why are we doing that? Well, there is a particular reason. So we needed to drop down there because, as you can see, there's a little gap opening cave just underneath us there. So that is exactly why we've done that. So however way you've done it, we need to drop into this little cave. So press up on the D-pad to get your plant grown. New. And then when we go straight, we've got another last couple to grab. So the last shell is going to be on the left. And then the final altar is going to be straight in front of us, of course. Yes, that should be the next two collectible achievements completely done. So well, with that one, now we can start heading up back into the wind. So the only one, the only collectible that's uh, achievement that we got left now is for completing all the caverns, which shouldn't be too long now. 
because again there are no collectibles in chapter six it's a bit easier but there are two miscellaneous chapter uh, achievements in chapter six so so yeah just for now it's a case of heading on up heading on up Oh my gosh, we are done. Right, head to the left. Let us go ahead and grab that last Karen before we get uh, this chapter complete and head to uh, chapter six. Um, so not in front of us there, but it was just to the left from uh, earlier on. This is the Karen. This is the last one. Common ground complete. So that should now be all collectibles completed, all collectibles collected and completed and all the achievements done. Head to the end. Chapter five's complete. We're just going to grab two more miscellaneous achievements and go ahead and complete the game. Come on! Crap, brah, that is one big old flying whale. So, actually, we've got a little bit left to do before. Now, don't worry, you can't get blown off or anything. Um, all you got to do then is just uh, rope yourself up and then climb up until you get to the whale's head. Bit, uh, quite easy, this bit, so near panic and bother that.
So this is chapter 6 then, apparently the whales can handle just a little bit of cold. Pruh. That's the majority of people in Wales as well as uh, animal whales. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get the first miscellaneous achievement. Hold the right and left trigger at the same time. You're going to give your little buddy a little cud because he's a little cold little puppy bag, isn't he? So yeah, right and left trigger at the same time, that'll get you the a faint glimmer achievement. So that's all good. So what we're going to do now is, well, there's literally only one path to go. So we're going to head straight down. Um, yeah, so to continue to walk down until we get to the bottom where we're going to get the next miscellaneous achievement and then crack on with the finale. <laughs> Okay, so it might be a little bit difficult to see, but basically there's a, there's a, about four or five or six whales covered in snow dotted around this big central pillar looking thing. So all you got to do is get close to one, uh, the one on the right will do it for us now, and just press up on the D-pad and the Awakened Memory Achievement will unlock. I actually missed this, completely forgot about it uh, the first time through, so I just had to quickly replay with a chapter select, so that's where you're going to see a little bit of a edit skip right there. Um, but again, we're just in the same place, so don't worry about that. So, go up to... You couldn't even tell it was a blue big whale thing. I was actually looking for small creatures, which there are none in this level. So, just keep pressing up on the D-pad next to this whale. If that one doesn't work, there's a couple more dotted around, but it should work just fine. So, that is the Awakened Memory one done. Now, there's going to be another edit skip as we head back towards. So, if you just turn around... 
head towards the central pillar. And then if you go right above the stairs, basically now the main aim of the game is... Now you can see a lot of patterns on here. Now these smooth ones, you can't actually climb on or anything, but the ones with the dots, we need those ones to be lit up, so you actually have to climb onto those ones. So then that's the first bit complete, we basically just got to do these three times. Uh, so there's nothing really too difficult to be honest, there's only one little cheeky part which is a bit of a pain slightly, but again it's nothing too bad at all, but I will let you know when we get to it, otherwise for now simply follow along.
So there is just a couple more on this wall to grab. Now what I tried doing was putting the rope down and swinging down. But what I actually did was completely fall down. But quickly place a pit on, pit on around there. Because that is what we need in to try and get to. So if you, for whatever reason, end up falling, um, you'll just have to grab onto one of these, climb up the left-hand side, get back to the middle part, and try and climb down carefully again. Like I said, I tried putting the uh, rope down at the very top so I could lower myself down carefully, but that didn't seem to work. So, yeah, that was the only bit of a pain on this level for me. So jump straight through, and then we've just got to do this one more time. And ba boom That's it. So once we have climbed the ladders, you're going to stick your mouth hole over the no noise hole one more time and as soon as the credits start, you will get the water piper achievement for completing the game and yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it then from me guys and gals, I'm, I will leave it here, didn't realise his cheeks lit up, yeah it's cute, anyway all's well, the whales will uh, come alive and everyone's happy again and stuff so I will love you mwah, and leave you. Blah. But yeah, so thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I really hope you enjoyed the game. And I do hope that the guide helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with 
any friends that you may have as well. It's always very much appreciated. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters, my YouTube members as well, and anyone who else who interacts with me. Thank you so, so much. I know there is many of you who do, so I appreciate every single one of you. And that will be that, so thank you again, and I will see you in the next Game Pass game, guys. Gals, big old beanie love. Beans. On toast. <laughs>